ஹலோ ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் வெல்கம் டு சி ஷாப் இன்டர்மீடியட் டு அட்வான்ஸ்டு டுட்டோரியல் நவ் வி ஆர் ஸ்டார்டிங் ஏ நியூ சப் சீரியஸ் சி ஆஷ் அப்ளிகேஷன் ட்ரேஸிங் ஸோ அப்ளிகேஷன் ட்ரேஸிங் இஸ் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் ப்ரொடியூசிங் தி லாக் ஹியர் அண்ட் டைரக்டிங் இட் டு மல்டிபிள் லொக்கேஷன் ஸோ தட்ஸ் வாட் கால்டு அப்ளிகேஷன் ட்ரேஸிங் ஸோ யூஸ்வலி தி ப்ரோக்ராமர்ஸ் வில் write the uh, tracing code uh, for uh, debugging diagnostic purpose and this uh, trace information can go into a destination like a text file xml file event logger like that so the example you may already saw uh, when we are uh, talking about the uh, debugging and debugging windows the time we used this uh, a sample application of course you can download the example from uh, the video description of this uh, present video so in the video description of the present video you can download this sample so uh, or you can even go to our uh, debugging video series in this uh, the ash intermediate to advanced the playlist and you can download the base sample from there also so for this example we actually uh, implement these two uh, buttons and the logging of error and information messages so here in this series we will learn all these so she has a tracing introduction then about this example then sending trace to debug window sending trace to a text file then sending trace to windows event logger after that we will see an example for a message type filters that are as well as information messages so this application will be our uh, sample application so the trace source will be attached to an application that means uh, this will be our uh, trace source the application will produce the trace messages at uh, different uh, part of the code so you can simply consider this as a tracing code and uh, that goes through this uh, trace source so the next component is a trace switch so this uh, trace switch will be uh, attached to the application and trace source will uh, send the information i mean the tracing information via this uh, trace switch so this trace switch will act as a uh, filter we can call this as a source filter so the message that passes through this uh, source filter will get filtered down here and few message goes out of it based on this filter suppose if we are getting 100 message here based on the filter we may get a uh, message less than 100 here say for example let's say 25 message get goes out that means the 75 get filtered here so from here um, we can attach it to a different uh, listeners we can call this as a listener and if you see there are uh, multiple uh, listeners uh, this one is the debug output window which is the default next we can have a text file event logger console output window xml file likewise there are uh, many listeners available let's say a message is coming out of the application through trace source there can be multiple uh, type of uh, messages so these messages usually flow through the trace switch 
and some messages get filtered out here and few messages reaches to the listener so we can apply further filter here for each individual listeners so this is a source filter and this one is the listener filter we can say so when a message is filtered here in the source filter this filter is for all the listeners so you can attach multiple listener to a, a trace source so this is the source and this will be the target trace message will be written here so trace message will be written here trace source message comes out of it it will get filtered here 100 and here 25 and this 25 message reaches all this filter but before it goes to the destination each listener may have its own filter so we call this as a listener filter so let's say this is a level 1 filter and these are all a level 2 filter so a message can be filtered at two level so here whatever is get filtered that's for all the listeners and then each listener have its own message filters next what we need to know about is the message type so these messages you see here right each message will be tagged with something called event type so we can call all this as a trace event and event type tells what type of message is written for tracing purpose so when developer is adding the code they will send a message stating that uh, this is an information message and when they encounter some critical error they will say that this message is critical error type and if they want to send some warning they can send a message with a tag warning so even type will be we can write it like this uh, so i'm not listing everything for understanding purpose let me put some major category critical error warning info so of course there will be a type called all so the event type is useful to perform the filter say for example at level one filter if we say warning that means the filter will be applied from bottom to top that means if we specify the event type to filter is warning here in the filter we will set a warning message i want to filter that means it won't uh, that means it will allow filter message to come out of this that means it will filter info and all that stays here filter means it won't allow the info and all pass through this filter so only warning message will get past this uh, first level filter also error message is included to get past this critical also allowed similarly if you set error as the filter here only error and critical information reaches the destination all three destination that's one point you have to understand and if you put all then all these messages will go and if you set filter as critical only critical message pass through this filter all these messages will uh, get filtered out and it won't go outside this filter that's one point second point let's say that we set uh, filter level one as warning and here we can set different filter levels say for example for output window we set filter level as warning here we set error and here for event logger we set critical so even though the message comes out of this first level filter is warning error as well as critical based on the filter which we set here as warning here the individual listener have different filters that means the output window still have warning that means whatever comes out of here will pass through this one so the output window will receive warning error as well as a critical trace messages and text file will get only error and critical message so that will be written here in the text log and in windows logger only critical messages are logged 
So the application source, I mean the trace source, if you see, it will send all the messages. So the developer can put any kind of trace message at the different part of the application coding. So trace source will send all those information, but it will get filtered here in the trace switch. So the component name is a trace switch, trace source and listeners. All right. That's all here you have to understand. And in this example, you will learn trace source, you will learn trace switch, you will learn uh, event types, and we will see how to uh, log the trace information to debug output window, to a text file, and to event logger. And this is a second level filter. Uh, we are not demoing here. Um, you can explore it uh, yourself. So there is a, no demo in this video. In the next subsequent video, we will continue with the example. Thank you for watching. Bye.